dive into the game. So nice and early for it. All right, lovely stuff. Bit of a fly through of Mirage. I'm sure everybody knows it by this point, but we are ready for the game now. Yeah, no complaints. Going in early is exactly what we want to see. Now, it, it wasn't a great showing. Let, let's not, you know, kind of beat around the bush here. It was a rough, rough showing for the fight. It didn't look themselves. Patrick went 2 and 15, 0 0.34 rating. Tom went 6 and 15. It was, it was pretty damn dire. So they need a complete different showing heading in towards map number two. And they've gone for a complete B stack. So Monty just run out to a free A site. What a system five bit. Oh, well, never mind. It's worked. It has indeed. It's a little bit of a catch off and it's Piton in from jungle, just mowing them down. Making it look easy on the USP at range. Just down to Demka. A lot to find here as well. Here's so many footsteps. Who's coming first? It will be Piton, of course, looking for his 4K. A brilliant pistol round to come out from the Frenchman. He just got over 50% of the kills that he got in the entirety of map one in that round there. You know, they started with such a weird play. Three through mid, two through B. But then Monty go out on towards A. They have no, you know, no fights initially. So they pause. I don't know why they pause. If Monty had just continued going forward and actually taken the A site, they would have got it for free. But I guess you can't really expect them to not expect anybody playing out through the site itself. And yes, even if the jungle player finds one, they still should have traded that. I think Monty, they were just so shocked by how little presence there was towards the site itself. Either way, Sister 5 going to find the first. Very weird round, but I'm glad they take it to start off things well here. They need to start well heading in towards this one. Yeah, and as we always say, you know, the Mirage is uh, a dangerous map to have as your favorite. Probably the most dangerous, I would say. Yeah. In terms of backfiring. Now, Monty, pretty damn good record on it. System 5, though. Again, could catch them off guard by virtue of the map, by virtue of... Sort of no pressure at the moment, you know. They they had a tough one on the first one there. Let's just go into this nice and easy and have fun with it is potentially what I would say to the players if I were behind them, if I were a leading voice. And there is this other thing as well that you've won the first map, wasn't your pick, super one-sided. Should be all right from here, shouldn't it? Like You know, you, you take your eye off the ball, foot off the gas, all those sort of phrases. And mm. before you know it, you're down five or six rounds yourself so once you've got to be very careful here moving in for the force by certainly not a rarity on this t side they've got an execute this one should be a bit cleaner as well confident moves from system five as to be expected but got to be careful a lot of deagles in play here can be effective at range and in comes dem q as if by magic to find two bomb plant going to come in man advantage for monty what's the play guns being collected here bomb down the numbers favoring them this is looking pretty good i think you can already see the system five are a little wary swing in this corner could be dicey gives me nice shot looks for more as well the will be traded and one man all that's left the keen wants nothing to do with it they don't have the money to spare it either so he's gonna get out of there in a 1v3 there is no chance in hell especially because of the time too so that is going to be Monty answering back. The force by effective and his Demko of a brilliant round individually from him. Three kills to his name in that one. All tight square, one apiece. Very quickly getting back into a competitive state in System 5. Try to left scratching their heads. And they've basically got to force by here. This is the, the, the standard thing. They've got to match force by force by. Yeah, that's really difficult. Really, really difficult from one end of the spectrum to the other. So, System 5, back to square one. Have to figure out a way to bounce back. And Monty, yeah, just continuing to remind you why they are the favorite for this one and why they had such an effective showing on Vertigo. Now, a lot of presence here on short. Certainly an interesting move from the CT side. A little bit of a head spotted, but yeah, Warrow does not know what he's getting himself in for. DemQ at range, looking to pick up the pieces. He had such an explosive finish on Vertigo, and he has picked things up quickly here on Mirage as well. Another two-piece for him. Now, it is only a two versus two. Definitely not out of the woods yet. 
Is he ready for more? He is indeed, definitely now. The bomb, meanwhile, nowhere to be seen. Maybe they feel with all these kills they've found that the bomb should be somewhere near. It's not quite the case. Dem Cube playing things safe. Unfortunately, does not quite work out from Krasnal into the one versus two. Can't make it work. And it's beats on with a swap up onto the M4 to get the second and another force by win. Yeah, back to back kind of force buys in, in this sort of fashion. I mean, man, Monty, of course, themselves then got to go back into it, but they've got even less to work with now. Yeah, not the sort of position you want to find yourself in. Demko with a hero AK and then kind of barely even upgrades alongside him. And it looks like, I can say, it looks like Lot Warrior wasn't doing anything. He will buy in towards a Galil. So, at the very least, two rifles to try and speak with, but a really good response. Coming out, Beaton's coming towards map number two. Considerably more confident. He's already got more kills. Three rounds played than he has in the entirety of that first map. And speaking volumes into how different of a player he is individually so far. Okay. Monty back to what they know. Going to go for another Ray Execute here. System 5, a bit more prepared for it. They get that smoke down themselves on towards the ramp. And well, as that one dissipates in a palace, it's a two-piece. Patrick still down below. Flash on ground for him to work with. But the kills keep on coming for Monty. Two versus two. Demku again doing so much for this team. They're going to bail very quickly. I think people will have heard this, but it's given them a bit of a reset. Demku loses his life. Krasnall is left to clutch once again. He's got an AK. And is uh, going to be something to work with, but it's not easy. It's a foot race towards B and one in which he's not going to win, especially considering that Krill knows all too well about this. This is such a janky sort of position with 30 seconds as well. There's not a lot of time or anything really to work with. But I'm going to go down. That's the first positive. Now, what do we do from this position? Trying to line them up, but he can't. And at range, it's going to see it off. That's going to be an AK scooped up and a defuse to come through. And that will break the economy. And basically force Monty into a little bit more of a calmer, tempered round in towards the next. And it is going to be that relatively comfortable lead taken here by System 5. It is a decent look. Solid stuff from them. And Monty, what do they do now? They did manage to get a bomb plant there. That puts them in a better economic position. It looks like they are indeed going to go in for something, but not going to go super deep. Not going to get caught up in this force by war, as it were. I think that's probably the way to go about it. They have a little bit of money to work with. I guess, you know, bomb plant does alleviate something, but I think this is a smarter way to go uh, kind of about this. One, not over-investment, but a hero Galil, so to say, and rest of this the expectations are relatively minimal to not quite three runs out of ammo that could be a gun collected it might be a gun collected them could gonna find one of his own as well and now he's all that's left into his underpass one and two. Oh, Ooh, a re-swing in yeah that's dangerous mate that's dangerous i'm not sure how i feel about it the nade is pretty good though kree will tag him down to 12 hp he's got bomb control as well but demka run of the mill Plenty of options in terms of how he wants to approach this one. Ooh. This is interesting. Yeah. Is he going to play out through B here? Sure, probably, you would think. Unless he's going to go all the way around to, like, Connector or something. Yeah, I don't hate this. I don't hate this. He should actually get quite a decent amount of room to work with, in all fairness. But it's just whether you can clear the boxes, player. Yeah, it's a bit tough. Kree's obviously well hidden but where else is he gonna be you know oh yeah and that was like the back side of him as well it's not like it was a peak for him towards sure he's gonna give it another look and the hp makes all the difference i don't know that kree was super ready for the fight but it was that earlier tag that helps him out massively god almighty these rounds are coming close this is how scrappy this one can be man i lied that is so close so damn close it is gonna be System 5 making it a three-round lead. They've already got more rounds than they got in the entirety of their own map pick. So, 
a lot more positives in towards Mirage. And this is, you know, like we always say, kind of the inherent risk of a Mirage. It does just allow teams to spire a little bit with momentum and all the rest. Key. I was playing in towards window, but smoked out. Doesn't have a huge amount to work with, in all fairness. Triple stack through B here. Bomb not committed. So early in this fight here, Monty is just trying to take some map control, but not really doing anything too audacious with it, I'd say. No, not yet, anyway. But again, very, very important round here for Monty and their life cycle here on this T side. There will be a jump up towards the window. Interested to see what they're going to do with that. Warrior just waiting patiently for this smoke to go down before making a move. For you. Slowly will manage to find the frag onto Piton. Pretty big deal. However, DemQ, a rare lost fight from him. Kras now trying to stay alive with that bomb. They've now lost the man advantage, by the way, is that mid window push was thought of. Krasnal, though, tracks his player, does very well. He's got the bomb. What is the move here? They seem to think it's B as well, as Gizmi maybe has given presence across there. They've sort of panic rotated here, Neo, yeah. and thought that the Palace player was a lurk, just committed to this B idea, and unfortunately, they're totally wrong. Eesh, yeah, this has been a weird call. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute. No, Gizmi needed a kill there. More than anything, Needed a kill. Granted, bomb going down is the, the big thing. It's going to put that time pressure on them. But System 5 are very quickly getting towards the site. One playing back site. As a CT rotate comes in as well. This could be janky. The flash in the corner. Crass now. He actually is going to start to be overwhelmed in a second. Has to win this fight. He does. And effectively, still alive as well. Just buying time. And he does have a play in Ryu. who can hold them at bay on that cross. Swing coming through. Ryu steps up for one important kill. The last being the orb, but does get a consolation frag, but that's all it will be. Jumping over, chasing him down, gunning him down as well. Glock pulled out, and he will get the kill in the end. Very, very scrappy round, but Monty win it. And that's all that matters. Certainly been one of the messier games of Counter-Strike I think we've casted in uh, recent memory. Again, may well be down to the nature of the... Uh, mixed team and the map but still this is quite something monty having to adapt on the fly as we said that they may well have to to the way that system five are approaching things but one of the big things i think that hands itself to this is the fact that the economy has been all over the place and we see a lot of rifleage still in even though they're on eco rounds and things like this we've got a lot of deagles in this one and they are formidable oh my god surely Here we not. go again four versus three System 5 in a decent position. They've got an AK and a Mac 10 retrieved. Oh, my goodness. Oh, check your angles, fellas. No way, Keen, though. Messes it up slightly. Should have had that frag. Should have had that frag, and that may well have been the round sealed. Not the case, though, and now Monty, again, have an option to change up the play. It goes about saying some of the real you know scrappiest counter strike that we've that we've seen in a while and these two sides inseparable but kind of not in a good way Demka's low but waro going to keep hold of the orb for now ryu a lot of O's on him though to do something at range the eagle getting eerily close to the fight but it is going to be waro to find that kill they still know one's over towards b and they might try and overwhelm the a player here it is just patrick Got a 5-7. A rotate's coming through. Nade on the corner. It's going to catch Demka. What a random nade. And it works. How is this round still feasible? Oh, my goodness. And such a risky run here. Ryu going to get spotted. Able to make it across. That is the bomb confirmed. Oh, but they weren't expecting Waro to be in so deep. 15 seconds. We'll be able to get the bomb in. Nice and early. Patrick, one versus two. Does he necessarily want to go for this? I mean, you know, they don't have a lot of cash. They won't be buying in the next round anyway. He's going to make quick moves. A lot of noise being made. Just going to have to land the headies. He's got himself a bit of a smoke, which will give him a slight wall to work with. Oh, my goodness. What is that? Waro gives himself away, and Patrick's hit the shot. Ryu now, one versus two. It's going to be a hold in from Patrick as well. Oh, kind of comes off it, fakes it. Ryu, I think he will know what is up. They're going to go 
around just to make sure, and he nearly gets caught in doing so. That was so damn close. Another messy round, but Monty will string a couple together. My God, this is not being comfortable, not being clean, not being good in sort of any way. Monty, yes, they found a round, but another round in which Monty find with only, only one player staying alive. And it, it's not going to give them any sort of stability. And you can see that in terms of the buy. Double Mac 10 is what they have to work with. But I guess it's better than System 5. If only got a couple of rope grader pistols to work with. This has really, really been rough kind of strike to watch. In the corner, we'll actually catch the first. Mangus chill. Mid, flash is good. So many fights with the all going away of the T side. Keen on the D, looking for one. Can't get it. Can't get it. They were a little stacked on top of each other, actually. Makes it very awkward for him to line up ahead. Four to four. Monty closing the gap very quickly. It may well be a similar story as Vertigo. A slow start, a difficult start. Much stranger here. You know, you get caught off in those four spies, especially again on Mirage, where everybody is so comfortably uh, individually, you know, get the deagles out and they know the angles. They know the sight lines really well. But we'll see here. Four on four terms of that scoreline a big buy from system five though will allow them to put a pretty good defense yeah especially considering there is still demko and mac 10 on the other side he's got 12 kills to his name pretty ridiculous quick mass but if he had gives me warren krasnell together you do get demko he's been having a really great game the fact that you're not giving him a rifle is Feeling kind of criminal. Nate in the corner. Crease in a lot of trouble. He's in a hell of a lot of trouble. In the flames, but his teammates get two kills in the making. Could be a third as well. Oh my god, what is happening? Monty. This is really not looking good as the T side goes. I know it's four all in terms of the scoreline, but the rounds themselves have not been pretty. Yeah, they're just so scrappy, so messy, yeah. getting caught up in this chaos. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. high-level Mirage game. Are you moving into the B-apps within the first minute of the round? Probably <laughs> not, you know? Usually it's a, a later round thing, unless you're on, like, a half-by and wanting to go for a rush. But when you're with the rifles, you've got to work the rest of the map, maybe feign some mid-control, get a guy threatening short, threatening window. But no, they're just kind of straight up, let's go B, you know? And, and barely yeah. even an execute to back it up. Man, this is... It's really not been pretty to watch at all. Final 20 seconds, and Monty's going to keep hold of what they've got. Thankfully, they can buy back into the next, but it, it's so difficult to analyze what has just happened. You know, for, for newer viewers, maybe, if there's any of you watching this game and you are kind of new to Counter-Strike, this is not the norm. Please take my word for it when I say that this is an incredibly abnormal and incredibly poor mirage. Neither side have, have looked good. This is very scrappy. This is what would happen if you were to queue in as a new player in Towards Mirage. This is sort of what it would look like. This, yeah, not high-level stuff at all. Very, very rough around the edges. They're relying solely off angels. Little to no effective util being thrown. And, well, someone dropping out the server as well. That's not going to help. I think we just lost Gizmi there. Um, but, yeah. This, yes, no, it's not been good. It's not been pretty to watch. It's not been a nice showing of Counter-Strike just yet. Maybe when Monty going towards the city side, it might look a little bit better, but so far, no dice. Yeah, we do have a tech pause as well. So I guess for now, we'll come back to us with the tech pause. Hopefully get Gizmi back in the server as soon as. Um... Yeah, it's not been good kind of tried to watch. Uh, it's very difficult to analyze as well because, you know, you're watching Monty on the T side take raw contact jewels in places where they really shouldn't even be fighting. And then when they do fight, rather than kind of either falling away or throwing you till to help each other, they just overface and die. And you're sat here thinking, you know, when are you going to learn your lesson? Yes, I don't mind doing this on an eco or a half buy, but man alive, some of these uh, have been really difficult to watch. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It, it really is a wild game of Counter-Strike. And again, we did say this, right? When you're playing off against these mixier teams, you can get caught up 
Especially mm. again when you just had a showing on Vertigo, their pick meant to be you know a good map for them. Um, and it's like, all right, individually we've outclassed them there. Everybody looking good across the scoreboard. Um, Warrow all the way up towards the top end, but you know pretty much everybody was was chiming in and having nice rounds and multi frag moments, things like that. So I think they've maybe come in a little overconfident, slightly. Then the economy gets away from them, and then the rounds are very scrappy, very fight heavy from your yeah. opponents as well. But they're also leaning into that, and they're finding it difficult to reset the game and allow them to approach it from like a structured sort of sense where they're obviously very comfortable, very recognized on this map. Um, maybe as well, feeling good about their CT side and that it should be enough on the CT side, but you can't allow this first half to get too far away from you. No, no, you can't. Not at all. Oh man, this is, yeah, it's, it's not been, it's not been nice viewing. And I think we now hope, I think basically the hope in my mind is that when we get towards that Monty CT side, that they're able to slow down the tempo a little bit. It feels like, they're so nervy about making sure they have some sort of map control, but that's where the benefit of the CT side comes through because you do get given inherently just the map control, you know, off the back of your spawn, essentially. You're given the B and the A site uh, and basically mid to work with, essentially, from, from the jump. So I, I think one of those things, I think it's it feels like for me a bit of a survival game now until half time, and then we're okay, but... Yes, not, not not being great, not being great. I mean, we're still waiting on Gizmi to get back into server. I really dropped out. Um, I assumed it'd only be a quick little uh, little fix, but doesn't seem to be the case. Seems like it might, might be taking a little bit longer than uh, than we initially thought. Yeah, a little difficult there uh, to say the least. But hopefully, not going to be waiting too much longer to get him back in. You know, at the end of the day, whether it is uh, messy and scrappy, we do want the Counter Strike on our screens, of course. So it would be. A good sign of things to come if we can get him in nice and fast. We'll try and keep you updated as well, maybe as we get some information in in terms of what's going on. But yeah. uh, sometimes this is the way things go in these online games. You know, you get players dropping out. They're all over the world, um, all mm -hmm. over Europe. So it can be a bit difficult to fully know what the issues are. I think, though, unfortunately for this one, folks, we are going to have to take a break. We've not really got too much information behind what's going on. So stick with us. Bear with us. We'll be back as soon as we can. Oh, Never okay. Mind. Well, there you go. We have, we have a quick, a quick five second, you know, just voice break there, Neo. <laughs> as we are straight back into it, just as we made that decision to take a break, everything is uh, back in live. Take a round or so for that hood to get started. But you can see um, we will indeed have sort of the invisible man, I think, on this here T end of things. So bear with us on that one. Not much that can be done without a round restore and everything. Uh, which obviously the players aren't necessarily going to want to do in this scenario. Nades to open up. No oh, initial damage done just yet. Pushing be upset. I mean, Python's going to get so much information. Nobody, not a single soul even saying presence. And the easiest orb shot of his life gives me, joins back into the server and abruptly leaves it by the hands of an AWP. Yeah, not the best way to start things when you've just had a disconnect. So what are Monty going to do to approach this round then? Taking it nice and slow outside of the ramp. Maybe a later execute. They've got a decent position for Demka. He's playing very, very well, of course. I believe he is ready to strike on the window when the moment takes him. So a lot of this round is going to bank on him. They're just barreling on in here. Molotov comes round. Krass now going to go down. There is a little one for one, but it's not really worked. Waro as well plan for him was to come through this connector smoke. However, not quite the case. Opportunity does not present itself. I think they have a vague idea of where he's at. Well they definitely know him now and Piton will take him from behind. So, I on flawless. Only the one kill coming round. Monty really struggling. They are. They are. Didn't, didn't start well. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it'll continue well because I think we're coming back to another tech pause. You, you do hate to say it. It seems some some issues. We'll, we'll fix the hard and then hopefully it, uh, it, it should be okay. But, yeah, I mean, System 5 are going to guarantee themselves at the, the bare minimum, right? We're going to have a tied game at the turn of the half. The way they're playing, especially in these last few rounds, it feels like they probably should be in a strong-ish position uh, to close out at least the lead. I mean, it, it's not looked great from Monty Morrow will be the one to find the first. He's all they've really got to work with. 
in terms of riflery in this one. Holding. Quite finding for Keen there. It's getting worse, though. It's getting absolutely worse. These low buys might work again. A hero war might be <laughs> the one to do it. Patrick, though, nice push in from him. Only one frag. That's all he needs to feel satisfied, though. Meanwhile, Bob going to be retrieved here by the Orper. Very, very curious to see what else he's going to be able to find. Slow move down middle. Just getting Gizmi to try and gather some info. Maybe bait a player into peeking. It's an unorthodox angle. Certainly not the rarest angle in the world, but definitely unorthodox for chill there in the ladder room. They managed to make that in quite deep here. It gives me, yeah, any other weapon, he probably finds that kill. Chill will take him down, but it's a good trade of information. They're getting away with an awful lot. In fact, they he's are. given a lot of space around, and Warrow going to catch Chill off the back of that information now. Patrick's one thing is that he may not be expected. Bomb drop, Demka with the trade, knows where that final player is at as well. So going to go for a super, super open plan here. Try and make his way towards CT. No, he goes in for a jump peek. He is actually going to take the risk and move across with no armor. But this is very winnable, folks. Yes, he's got no armor. He needs to land one bullet with either of these guns. He's going to go in with the M4 and just hope that the wild spray is enough to work with. Kree knows exactly where he is. Flash goes down. A return flash as well to just slow his opponent down. Goes wide and takes him. A big, big win for Monty on the minimal investment. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, I think all of that credit has to be given to Warren and the way he started that round. Very, very well done for him. Finding two kills more or less immediately, which is, of course, really, really solid to see. But on a six to five scoreline, Monty want to make sure they, at the very least, can push it towards that tied game. Try and get six all. That'll give them some confidence in terms of the foundations of this first half. I mean, five is still workable on what is traditionally seen as, I think, at the moment, it kind of hovers around kind of the third most CT side of map in the pool. But that goes about saying that for System 5, these sort of scrappy games and, uh, and scrappy rounds, they don't always work in their favor because Monty are more than happy to try and wield something a little bit wacky. And Hero Warp did work. Warrow came alive. And Demko in the clutch as well. Big stuff. Final round of the half. Six to five. System five. I'm going to keep Monty at that number. Yep. Easier said than done at this stage, though. Not a lot to happen in the early round. Gizmi will start to make moves. Ooh, dangerous beat, but he wins it. Oh, the double as well from Gizmi. That is unbelievable, actually. I thought he'd just go straight down to that orb, but he gets two, in fact. Massive stuff. Solid advantage. And nothing that System 5 can do to respond. No. No, it's not all. Well, there's one, though. At least Crash oh, gets caught. Free holding in through Van on the angle. Does find him. Gonna throw back towards A. Doesn't really matter what the call is, to be honest, in the sense that they always are gonna have this numbers advantage. They need to make it work for them. Bomb grouping up here through ramp. Two players to meet them. One up close of Patrick. Patrick back turn. He's in trouble. Down he falls. Could do anything there. Pete Don's got to come up huge for a double kill. And he only gets one. This retake's not gonna be easy, but it's all down to Cree. Yeah, we'll see if you can find one of these kills real fast, you know, before that bomb goes down, especially. Could be another chance that Molotov, though. Not necessarily going to deny him. <sighs> Tap coming in. He doesn't want to give his position away. There's a, an ankle. He could deny this bomb plant. He will do so. 15 seconds now. Oh, but plucked out of the air by Waro. No chance in the end. And that, of course, will be the end of the half. Six to six. Good recovery from Monty. We'll see if they can use the momentum into the second half.
Second half getting kicked off here. Much better performance from System 5 on Mirage. However, Monty, again, similar to Vertigo, get themselves some speed before the turn of the half. Curious to see what this second looks like. Pistol will be very, very valuable here. Monty, decent track record on them. Didn't win the first one out here, and Warrow going to have the fear of God put into him by that bullet. <laughs> Yeah, Pistol also, is... He's not bought anything? Sorry to cut you off, but yeah. why has not bought anything? Yeah, it's weird. It's... I do this, but, like, I'm a troll, right? But, like, I don't know why he hasn't. Like, he's armor, but maybe he doesn't need it, right? Why not? It seems to be working. He's still alive. And on track to winning this pistol. So it, it might facilitate an even better buy towards the next round. But they do have to win this still. Thing gonna come through. Bomb plant gonna come through as well. So that's also another positive to be taken away from this. He takes not always the easiest. No, very true. Kit available. They've got plenty of time to work with there. Four and uh, well, there's four of them coming in from CT. It would have to be a hell of a performance there from Chill on the P250. Cree doesn't even get a chance at it, and the defuse. Well, Ryu, in fact, MQ stands here saying, what the hell? Why did I buy this kit if you're just going to steal the defuse? But Ryu, he wants his MVP. He's got three kills. He wants that defuse. He's going to have plenty of money here as well. Thanks to all the bonus cash from the kills and the bob. Exactly. Exactly that. So, fundamentally, you take it and take it all the way. So, first round for Monty. Mighty important for them. Just in a, what has been a really uncomfortable showing, all things considered, on what we've seen so far. Just having a little bit of a saving grace to go with is a nicety. We still need more before uh, in any kind of way comfortable about what we've seen so far, but it's better than nothing. 67, if they can make it two for two to kickstart this half, they're going to be in a really solid spot. Mike's pop out towards B here. Don't he actually want towards the site? Ryu's got to come up huge, and he's barely finding anything. There we go. Does manage to finally find a frag. Ooh, a little awkward. Maybe uh, Patrick forgetting that he's got the bomb. However, manages to survive and actually get the bomb plant in. This is all over the place once again. Rio eventually going to go down. Has enough work being done. You would assume so. Four versus two. And kit still available. Looking good. Patrick continues dishing out the damage. But it's just not enough in the end. And we'll get the defuse in once again. Demka with the kit, not utilizing it. Kind of hilarious, but Monty in the motions right now. Looking very, very good. I believe now five in a row from them Yeah. since the turn of the half. So really great look here. No, exactly. Exactly. This is good. Two to start off their CT side. Just to give them that confidence. And I, I put them in a, in a nice spot overall. This is... Yeah, that's exactly what we want to be seeing here. I, I I just think you need to have that confidence where you can come in towards these sort of a half and just feel a little bit more in around yourself. But System 5, they've gone for a hero AK and we already saw what Demka can do with it himself individually. Can he maybe respond in kind? Looking good here for Demkip, staying alive on that MP9 as it pays for itself with a nice little triple kill. He does make that AK work. He's now all alone. He's going back in for a bit more. Demko low, you know, certainly a possibility. Oh, the nade is perfect though. Lands right under him and he will go down to it. Nine to six from Monty. Looking very, very good, but a pretty hefty buy coming their way from System 5. Yeah, exactly. They only had kind of one uh, sort of hero in, in in that one, and the rest of it will be sort of absolutely fine. But, uh, yeah, I mean, still, Monty pulling away to a somewhat okay sort of position. This is going to give them just a confidence, really. You want to see out of these guys... Five, what we got in through mid or about for Keen as well to work with. He's going to play up close here behind that smoke, but he's not being spotted. So, at the very least, could be got off guard blind, but does get the kill nonetheless. And Patrick can't do anything, he'll fall away. Might get flanked, it's scrappy, but Chill is just alive. Just is the key word. He gets caught by Demka, and then Keen answers back. This is carnage.
Yeah, again, it just does not seem to have settled down or reset. Monty. Oh, moving fast. Kree with a big find there onto Crass now. Very clean indeed. 6 HP, so lucky to be alive, but has set up a nice finish here. Ryu is quickly along. Smoke going to go down. Oh, to allow the bomb plant. That's so difficult, but the spam coming in is clean. It's AWP versus M4. The AWP goes in and finds the head. Super confident from Keen. And yeah, very, very important to find that kill and that round, denying Monty the double digits. But my goodness, if you thought it was going to change over on the CT side, thought Monty would be a bit cleaner, you are wrong. dead wrong. <laughs> No, exactly. Man, this is such scrappy CS. But I think as well now, System 5 need to try and use the scrappy CS in their favor. And actually at the moment, it, it it does feel like it's facilitating them at the very least. Trying to start up a little bit of something. I get a bit of that confidence. A lot of onus on taking mid control. For the Monty side. I don't hate it either, to be honest. It's going to give them... That confidence that they need and want. Flash coming through. Chill. Can't convert his attempt. Gives me will be trained in a Peter doubles down. God almighty. Looking good again for System 5. Four on three. Definitely not out of the question. Oh, dangerous fight. Keen actually takes a tag. Lucky to be alive. Now they know there's one in towards CT. The big position here is Ryu. No one's going to be dealing with him. Yeah, they're not ready for him. Good for one. Not ready for the second. Bomb, meanwhile, making its way up short. An uncharacteristically slow mid-round here from System 5. Seems to have done its job. Waro was actually over there. But pulled off, you know, by these kills. And ultimately, System 5 are going to have a clean bomb site to work with. Nobody here. So Patrick and Keen. Like you said, they got it all to work with. Molly comes down. Nobody playing backside. So they can safely plant now. Very, very weird round. But one in which I think Monty are just going to give up reluctantly. They don't really have a choice. They've just got to call for this and say, that's it. And that'll be that, right? Save to be called and for Monty. Not really even an exit play either, in all fairness. Just a slow hold and hoping that anybody walks their way. They don't really have a lot of money to work with, so they kind of, again, reluctantly have to just fall away and say, well, this is all we can do. That'll be the round. They might get an attempt here at the very least. Waro, right idea. He's in trouble, though. He's in a lot of trouble. Needs the rifle to come and bail him out. The rifle misses. Waro finds one. Pistol pulled out, and down he goes as well. So bad to worse, losing the round. You've got a system five hot on your tails and now nothing saved too. I mean, it could not really have got any worse there. Yeah, after such a solid start into the half, you know, uh, again, Monty may well have felt that they'd done enough work. Rifles should win themselves. Yeah. And it is starting to kick them in the teeth a little bit. But we'll see. Pretty scary stuff here from System 5. Monty on the eco. Looking to stack together. Chill will spot a fair amount of them. Smoke, uh, sorry, Flash comes over the top to try and facilitate at least one. Yeah, would be nice. I think that might be all they're going to get here. Flank is covered by Patrick as well. Maybe now they turn their focus to him. But Red is low. He's going to run out of an ammo soon. But Patrick makes the low magazine count work solid stuff ninth round coming round and system five quickly bringing it to even stevens yeah exactly and i guess that is sort of the main thing right make sure that round that there's just just taken right i'm not even gonna say flawless because nothing in this game has been flawless but make sure that's taken make sure you got something to work with tied up the game down a piece there is now a talking point a conversation to be had so at nine all onto back into a buy Desperately kind of need to steady the ship here. Waro didn't quite make the movement through Hellhole, so he isn't going to overfight in towards mid. That's just a smart decision. There's no point. Nade on towards Sean. Nobody there. But the standard thing that System 5 have been met with for the majority of these rounds so far in the second half has been mid-aggression. This time, not the case. And 
They are left questioning a little bit what the play is. They need to be spammed in towards mid. Chill going to take a lot of damage off the back of them, but gain some space in connector. Meanwhile, three on B from Monty. Certainly not the conventional setup, but it might work for them. It looks like System 5 want to send some pressure towards B. Not quite dedicating. They're unsure. Is there a push behind? They might have heard footsteps in that ramp area, a ramp area. So certainly weary of it. Demka going to go moving round. Oh, he's got the entire pack coming towards him here. Doesn't quite spot them. They don't spot him in turn. They've just got to be careful that they don't get caught in transition on this CT side. Still dedicating to the ramp play. Still dedicating to this move. Demka looking for some timing and he's going to get it perfectly for three. Oh my lord. Demka has ruined the round before it's even really gotten going. 30 seconds to recover the bomb and only two players do work with. Pawed off by the rotations, of course. Patrick alone. He will do well, but that's all he can do. Double digits for Monty. It's a good effort, but it's actually a really good round for Monty. Nicely done. Demka individually has been excellent throughout this entirety. Not only the map, the series, but that round specifically was beautiful. Three kills to his name. Lovely stuff. And it's going to claw back a lead in favor of Monty. And the first had to crack in towards double digits, which for the confidence is huge. Now, you look at System 5. And, you know, it is a full buy for everybody, bar one man, chill. Someone who's actually been quite important to them. Only got a Deagle. At the very least, I do have Keen and the AWP. Better than nothing. It's exactly. What a bountiful situation. Well, double come down. Chill gonna try and get out in front of it. Oh, I've got the wrong idea here. It does get tagged as well. The second they could do a chunk as well. It gives me one idea, one execution. Down goes the first man, but it is only the Deagle. Mid this orb gives me sticking around, though. I don't think they'll be expecting this. He's creeping. Double on the cards. Not quite, but Krass now comes around to help him out a little bit. Beautiful little move from gives me there, too. Feels like seal the deal. p -Tom will take him down. Two versus four now. But a bomb to recover. That, of course, has been spotted by the CTs. Looking very, very good here. There's Monty left. In a difficult sort of spot. Yeah, got to be careful. These angles are hard to bolster, hard to work with. But the numbers, thankfully, working in their favor. And, of course, System 5 going to make a few missteps. It's a very difficult area for them to fight as well. It's on. It's well for one, but playing the headshot angle. You have to give him some respect from here. Don, he's had an incredible game himself so far. Waro, might be a 3 2 1 swing here. They've got to do this in a while. Late fast, Waro to see it's off. Whew, sigh relief, I think, is the main thing. Especially after the first goal goes their way. Monty still made some work for that round quite a lot, in all fairness. It's a round that is found. 11 to 9. Two rounds ahead and two rounds away, Monty, from seeing off the series 2 to 0. It does make us question, what is the play? What is the plan for System 5 in terms of a response? And for them, they're choosing to play for OT. We already know, Scriv, you know, inherently this is such a risk. You're leaving it all up to chance that you can go flawless towards the tail end. It's never an easy ask. Waro holding out in the palace area probably will have a fair amount of action come his way it looks like system five going for kind of a classic on an eco round like this tiny bit of utility but they are ultimately going to hold the clock and then burst round they're gonna go in through that smoke mind you however demka warrow looking good demka mowing through them as well expecting the low buy and it is paying dividends on that mp9 four piece for him plenty of cash rolling into what could be the final round of the series you love to see it. You really do. You really do. 12 to 9. Demka. Pushing for that 30 bomb. Might just get it as well. He's actually been on absolute fire. And he's still going to, you know, stick with the MP9. You've got to love the confidence. System 5. They've got to go flawless from here on out. He does have his AWP, but he's been a little quiet. 
Pete said, he's not offered up a huge amount. He might get pushed upon here. Demka is relentless in terms of his aggression. Flash can come around the corner. He'll be swinging off the back, but another flash to come through. Demka's going to get another kill. No bother. No questions asked. Demka's always good for one. All right, let's see. Looking very good for Monty now. Perfect position for them to be in. Super early, untraded kill. Still gives them time to uh, readjust their defense. Make sure that there's not any holes anywhere. The bomb site looks slightly vulnerable, but beyond that, I don't see many options for System 5, and that seems to be where they want to head. So, curious. This could work. At the same time, I think Monty will be acutely aware of the fact that the B side of things is quite as scary as the rest of the map. Grouping up here. Less than five. The number's not in their favour. Somebody's got to step up in a big way. Piton's probably the, the main man you look at. But man, even still, this is not going to be easy. Creeping forward. Grouping up for Ukan and Demka's playing into Sandwich here. They are going to be given all of this space, but... It's a question of, you know, do they even clear Demka first of all? Flash in the corner. Demka needs to look to his right. Could get caught. Yeah, he will. Back, you're going to find it. We're going to play retake here. Nice shot from War. Another nice one from Crass now. And it's falling apart. One man that's left. Down he falls. And that will be the game. 13 to 9. A 2 0 in the series. And it is Monty to take it. Really, really good work, in all fairness. It was scrappy that first half, but the second looked and felt, thankfully, a lot better. Yeah, I mean, it's still scrappy. I think just a lot more of it going the way of Monty yeah. at the end of the day. Um, credit to System 5 as well. We figured going into Mirage.